and welcome. Andy here. And Missy here. And we're just going under the bridges, the railway bridges in Shrewsbury. Keep getting held up at the traffic lights, it's busy today. And just to our left, there's Shrewsbury Railway Station, Victorian Station. Grade two listed, and then police parked up. Yeah, and then just to uh, straight in front of us, up from the top is Shrewsbury Castle. So we've just pulled into the car park to get a view of those two. The castle was uh, ordered on the site by William the First in 1607, and extended under Roger de Gomery. In about 1070, he was uh, quite an influential influential man in the town. It's Roger M de Montgomery. Yeah, Roger de Montgomery. <laughs> Trying to remember and uh, drive at the same time it's not so easy. And it was uh, to protect the town from the uh, the Welsh invaders, which was quite <laughs> a common thing for the Welsh to be invading this part of the uh, the country because we're not so far from Wales here. Some old buildings. A lot of old architecture, yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. On our left is the old library and a statue of Charles Darwin. We all know who Charles Darwin was. It was fear that the. Huh. I can't remember what it is now, but uh, yeah, Charles Darwin. <laughs> Your brain gone brain, brain dead. The brain's gone, I'm trying to concentrate and drive. He was an English naturalist. Yeah. And he uh, proposition that all species of life had descended from common ancestor. So. Origin of the species. That's the book. One. That's the one. Origin of the species. That's what I was trying to think of. <laughs> Brain went. Uh, the road used to go straight on, but that's now closed off as uh, the main drag, Pride Hill. Pedestrianised now. On our left is a church. And that's St Mary's. St Mary's Church, which is now closed. We'll just take you for a little drive around the block of St Mary's. Some old buildings around here. Like St Mary's is uh, it's now uh, not used as a church anymore. One of the oldest churches in Shrewsbury. That's the shop parade in front of us. It's a, a building with loads of little shops. Not open on a Sunday? No, that one's closed. You see the old buildings all around here. Look at this little crooked black and white place. Absolutely got beautiful. A Lots of black and white buildings in Shrewsbury. Very, very old town. A lot of history here. And we just, it's a one way system, so we've got to go to our left. So more black and white places everywhere. <laughs> a lot of visitors get to this town from all over the world, America, China, China. They used to get a lot of Chinese people visiting Shrewsbury. They love the history here. Mm. In the summer, you see them around with their cameras everywhere. The Red Lion Pub, or just the Lion rather. The Lion Hotel. The Lion Hotel and Pub, famous one. And this is Wild Cop. Look at the black and white buildings down here. And quite a steep hill, which I don't like walking up. Yes, it is steep. Yes, I like walking <laughs> up this one. Makes me puff and pant. That's closed off going in the opposite direction during the day. Now it used to be able to go through, but not now. Now we're just going over the English Bridge.
masonry arch viaduct type crossing the River Severn. Present, well, this was built in 1926, this one, um, replacing the original one. We have a church on our right, and up ahead, you've got Shrewsbury Abbey. The Abbey was founded in 1083 as a Benedictine monastery by the Norman Earl of Shrewsbury, Roger de Montgomery. Again. Again. Same man as uh, involved with the castle itself. That is still in use as a church. Yeah. It grew to be one of the most important and influential abbeys in, in England and was, was an important centre for pilgrimage. I mean, much of the abbey was destroyed in the 16th century, but the nave survived as a parish church. We've come out of the centre of the town now. Well, we're just heading up uh, into the suburbs part of Shrewsbury. This is the old road going to uh, Wellington, Telford. Of course, there's a bypass around Shrewsbury now, so it's not used as uh, a main through road now, but it's still heavy with traffic. Coming up in front of us shortly is Lord Hills Cobb. It's one of the tallest of its designs, or it is the tallest of its design in the UK. It commemorates General Rowland Hill, one of the, the first Viscount Hill. And General Rowland Hill, first Viscount Hill, was a British Army officer who served in the Nape Napoleonic Wars as a Brigade Division and Corps Commander. He was Commander-in-Chief of the British Army in 1828. Now you can go inside the uh, column and climb up to the top. As you can see there's a, there's a frame round the, the column and that's where you can walk up to and walk out on the top and get the views from up there. I've never been up there myself. It's quite a climb, a lot of steps up. Bye.